one of the most challenging aspects of any spiritual journey is learning how to discern between conditioning uh, limiting beliefs and ego-driven fears and insecurities and your inner wisdom your heart mind your intuition your true self and i always tell people a great way to differentiate between the two is to notice what's going on in your body at any given time i mean usually when we're in a conditioned thought or when we've been triggered in some way we will feel a contraction there will be a tightness somewhere in our body we won't feel relaxed we will feel wary and defensive whereas when we are moving from our heart mind when we are using our intuition using our inner wisdom when we are in touch with our authentic true self we feel expansive we feel open we come from a place of compassion and curiosity and wisdom and love and it's just about recognizing those two different states within the body and this can be particularly difficult to do if somebody has experienced a lot of trauma in their life or they have just experienced a lot of adversity or heartache i mean because they have been in a state of contraction for so long it almost feels like the norm and it can be quite difficult and uncomfortable to move into that place of expansion because contraction is associated with protection. Now, those protective states were put in place for a very specific reason at some stage in your life. So allowing them to fall away can feel particularly scary. Moving into a place of expansion and trust in the universe can be really difficult for anyone who has experienced a lot of adversity or trauma in their life. So it's recognizing that this may feel very uncomfortable. It mightn't feel very nice to begin with but it is absolutely possible you do not have to spend your entire life in a state of fear and wariness and defensiveness now the thing is it's very easy for me to sit here in a chair and talk about expansion it's a lot more difficult to implement in life particularly when you're struggling in some way i mean we can all be loving and compassionate and understanding and forgiving when things are going our way it's when things become that little bit tougher when we're suffering in some way that it becomes a lot harder and i suppose it's just surrendering it's just recognizing that there are things in your life Life that you can't actually control and the less you try to control them the better off you actually are now this goes somewhat against the culture that we're living in which is quite hedonistic and pleasure seeking i mean we're always looking for instant gratification we're always looking for that next hit of pleasure whether it be online shopping scrolling through our social media feeds getting a like on social media um pornography food drink whatever it is i mean we do tend to jump from pleasure to pleasure as opposed to being able to be in our own selves to be able to sit with ourselves and the more we engage in that hedonistic lifestyle the less capable we are of appreciating the mundane and the less resilient we are in times of adversity the thing is we all want to be a little bit more self-aware we all want to know what our purpose is and what our meaning is and yet we assume that we have to go somewhere to find out or we have to be on a seminar or we have to go to some retreat and the thing is i think it's ramdas that says that your next teaching is right where you are i mean we need to find the lessons in our day-to-day -day interactions likewise with uh, the implementation of yoga and meditation into so many people's lives i mean we have a tendency to assume that the practice is very separate to the rest of our day and yet the practice is just that it's a practice that you do so that you can integrate it into the rest of your day so basically with yoga there is what's referred to as karma yoga and that's basically bringing the flexibility into every single aspect of your day your interactions with other people your interaction with yourself likewise with your meditative practice you know bringing loving kindness into every possible area that you can manage and that's not easy i mean we always have our ego telling us that we need to be important that we need to be recognized that we need to be seen but it's just 
an understanding that what is important is actually being a decent person, trying to take away from all of the assumptions that you have about what is important in life and just allowing yourself to live, allowing yourself to open up to all possibilities, allowing yourself to be curious, allowing yourself to focus on your relationships with yourself and with other people and allowing yourself just to be in a place of equanimity as opposed to always fighting against something, always resisting, always trying to control, always striving for something different. It's just about creating a little bit of peace and calm. If you would like to find out more about how you can explore what it is that you need to be doing to live a life that is more mindful, a life that is more loving and filled with service, then get in touch with me on the website. It's fundamentals.ie.